you through the camera firmware upgrades that have just come to light uh, that's on DJI China. I actually did miss it. So thanks to one of my subscribers that actually pointed this out to me. So there is a slight difference. So you, uh, you've got to be careful as well. So first of all, let's go to the DJI's website. So go to DJI.com, go to support. Okay. And there's our, there's, you've got the Vision 2 Plus and the Vision 2, sorry, so the Phantom 2 Vision and the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. They both got camera um, firmwares, but they are slightly different on the firmware you need to use. So make sure you need to um, install the correct one for the correct Phantom, otherwise you'll have problems. They've got similar installs and they, they, they upgrade the same way through the SD card that goes through your camera. So make sure you've got the right one. So this is the Phan uh, Phantom 2 Vision. So if it's this, uh, Phantom you can see that it's got this uh, camera underneath then you'll need to go to the uh, Phantom 2 Vision click on download and then scroll down to your camera upgrade which is called uh, Phantom 2 Vision FC200 firmware version 1.1.9 there's different versions for the other one so that's how you can identify the ver this version 1.1.9 is for this Phantom here so make sure if that's what you got on your bench that's the one you need to download. So download that file in the zip file. Okay, and then if you've got um, a Vision Plus, so you go to the Vision Plus, and you scroll down, and as you can see, just below that, all the, all that's exactly the same as the other one, apart from the ending bit, the version's different. So on the Vision Plus, it's actually version 1.3.0G, and then just click on download. So I've, got, I've downloaded them both on here. So this is the Vision, uh, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. So if yours is this one, with this camera underneath, then this is the firmware you need for your one. Okay. So I've downloaded both both ones, so I can actually keep telling the difference between them. You've got to be very careful. Okay. So once you downloaded this file, open up your SD card. Okay. And on the um, Phantom 2, it's very simple. Fa uh, the Phantom 2 Vision, very simple. Then open up the the file file you download. Okay. Drag the bin file out to your SD card, um, close that, and that's all you need to do. Then you take your SD card out, put it into your Phantom, uh, make sure your Phantom's completely powered off, put the SD card into the camera, power on, and now it go through um, the upgrade. And the upgrade procedure on that one is very simple. It's it basically says um, download, uh, make sure the SD card clean. So make sure if there's any folders on the SD card. Uh, delete them off. So you literally just got completely root, okay? And you drop the firmware straight on top of that. Not in a folder, not in a folder on its own. Just literally, if there's, a, if there's already folders on the card, um, delete delete it off. It's completely blank. Then drop the file there, okay? Insert that uh, SD card into your Phantom. Power on your Phantom, and then just wait. Uh, you'll get yellow flashing. Um, was it the firmware update will begin automatically? A, fl uh, a yellow flashing LED on the camera indicates the camera is updating. <clears throat> when the yellow flashing disappears, the firmware has been updated. After successful update, updates, um, the firmware uh, file changes. The Phantom actually renames it from firmware.bin uh, and then adds in these extra bits on the end so it end up being firmware.bin.bak00. Then you know that's a So what you'll do is once that's you've done the first press, when the yellow light starts flashing, power, power cycle off, take the SD card out of your Phantom put it back onto your PC or Mac and then load it up to see if it actually has renamed it then you know it's been successfully doing done then from that delete it off the card and then put your card back into Phantom and away we go then that's all updated okay so that's uh, the Phantom uh, 2 vision so if you, for the plus guys again um, open your fold up uh, on your SD card so it should look completely blank if there's folders in there you normally get like a DCM folder in there just delete it so you just literally got a blank card okay so you open up your version okay so make sure you um, drag this file across here which is a uh, firmware underscore plus underscore v 1.3.0 g dot bin drag it across into your SD card now slight difference on the Phantom Vision um, Phantom 2 Vision Plus you need to rename this file so you go into it and you need to rename it to firmware version underscore plus dot bin. Okay, so that's what it's going to be basically called on the card. There you go. And then you put that into your um, uh, 
your Vision Plus, and I'll, I'll, I'll show. I can't show the um, Phantom Two Vision because I haven't got one. <coughs> I can only show this on the Phantom Two Vision Plus. So, um, I, so I'll just go through what it does. So, it's a copy it to your SD card, basically. Rename the uh, the file which we've just done. Um, insert in, uh, Make sure your Phantom and camera is turned off. Um, plunk it into your camera. Uh, sorry, into your Phantom. Turn on the Phantom. The firmware update will begin automatically. A yellow flashing light on the camera indicates the camera is updating. Uh, when the quick, when the quick yellow light flashing disappears, the firmware has been updated. After successful update and the firmware version, firmware underscore plus dot bin file will change to firmware underscore plus dot bin dot bak. So it does a similar same in renaming the file as the the Phantom Two Vision does. Um, then you can take it out. Remember to move this, delete this off the card before you start flying it again. Okay. Um, restart the camera, and then the new firmware will be activated. And you can check the firmware version in the DJI Vision app. So you can check um, what versions it's been successfully updated. So it's as simple as that. So that's that. So make sure you got them the right way around. Okay. So make sure you've got um, the firmware dot bin, which is the right version for the Phantom Two Vision. Okay. And on the uh, Phantom 2 Vision Plus, make sure it's the firmware underscore plus the 1.3.0 G. That's uh, one you downloaded. That's the correct one for that one. So if you get them the wrong way around, you will get problems and it probably will fail to upgrade and may cause problems. So make sure you get it the right way around. So I'm just going to make sure my card's got the right one on it. So on the plus, yeah, that's correct. And I'm now happy to put that in my vision and I will upgrade it and I'll show the video in, uh, next. Right, let's now put the SD card into the Phantom Vision um, 2 Plus. A bit mouthful this Phantom Vision 2 Plus, but when just could just call P2V, uh, even that's a mouthful. Anyway, the card's in, it's all switched off as you can see, card's in there now. So so what we do, we keep it at an angle so we can see um, the lights. I don't know which ones they actually flicker, which one it is. So it's the first time I actually upgraded uh, using this. So just power on. And you got sort of flashing orange lights. There you go, orange light looks like it's flashing there. So that's what it's basically saying, or it could be these lights here flashing. So when it's finished, it should just go off. So. So flashing away. Just going while it's doing that, I'm just going to open the readme file just to double check which lights it's actually saying it's going to um, stop flickering. So motion can turn this on. Insert the camera card into the car, which we've done. Turn on the Phantom. The Phantom firmware update will begin automatically. A quick yellow flashing LED on the camera. There you go. So, so it's this LED on here that's actually flashing. Now it's actually gone solid. Um, I, I assume that is the camera upgrade uh, worked. So we power cycle off. Just like so. <clears throat> and then we take out uh, the SD card. And what I'm going to do is now if we power up the Phantom, so get a remote controller out this time, and then we'll check we'll check with the app the the actual app itself to make sure see if it's actually upgraded. So I just connect to my Phantom. Pick up the Wi-Fi. Come on, Phantom, pick up. Phantom, quickly connect. We should be able to see in the app um, what version it's uh, now up on. So, so we go up, just upload the, get to the app up. So we don't can see that. So we'll have a look now oh, where they are. So, somewhere along here should. Give me some statistics about the 
at version 0.46, which is what's on there. Camera, there you go. 1.3.0G. So that is the latest. So it has updated successfully. All the lights are on there. So it's showing it's, it's pucker. And there you go. shows it actually has applied the update on the app, which is pretty good. So for, so we just check. I've got my lens filter on, so it's going to look a bit blurred. That's because my lens filter's on. But um, that should now show me... I don't know what the changes are, but I'll put the comments below what the changes are to this. Um, we can have a look. So scrolling down, I actually find on the app now this scrolling down of the camera is very slow. So some changes been made there, but on the gimbal, it's a lot faster. Okay, and we can do snapshot. Oh, I got my SD card in there, so I can't do it. But that shows the upgrade that's successfully done on the um, Phantom Vision. So. That's what you should get when you get a successful update on the uh, Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Update successfully, we'll now um, put the memory card back into my Mac or PC. And um, we'll now see on there that it actually now has renamed the firmware version underscore plus dot bin dot b a k dot zero zero. So that's what you should see on your memory card, whether you've got the um, Phantom 2 Vision or the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. So what we need to do is remember to move that off the card Move the port off, it's empty. On the Phantom 2 uh, Vision Plus, you can see it automatically creates that folder uh, for storing your photographs in there, a standard afterwards. But before you upgrade, just delete that folder out so you know you're in definitely in the root directory where to copy the bin file. So that's just a tip. So make again, please make sure you get these firmware versions the right way around. So if you've got, just to, just to quickly tell you everyone more time, just make sure because you need, Make sure you go to the right page. So you got if you got this version of Phantom, which is the Phantom 2 Vision, please make sure you go to the Phantom 2 Vision downloads on DJI site here and download the correct version, which your version is version 1.1.9. And if you've got this Phantom 2 Vision Plus, make sure you go to this site on the uh, the DJI website, click on download, and your version is the uh, version 1.3.0 G that is you've got to make sure you download the right version for the right ones get the wrong way around it will cause problems all right so I hope that helps helps um, if not comment below let me know I can see what I can do to help out from there okay cheers bye <laughs>